Well, hello and welcome to this mod review of a relatively recent uh, mod called the 60 building spec and it's um, oh it's massive <laughs> 60 buildings by black ship modding from some of the mod maps and it's just something that I would say is going to have to be a must on most of your uh, let's plays just because it offers so much right the first little section that we're doing is all the shed and I'm not going to go through all the detail in terms of price etc this is just a quick whip around of all the and I think they all I may have missed some there's so many um, sheds and buildings that come in this mod fantastic you just put this into your well you just um, activate this mod and you've got access to all these buildings some of them are pretty this pretty much the same well they are the same and they've just had color changes but yeah that doesn't really matter it just still gives you different options most of them that have doors the doors are open openable I haven't seen too many light switches um, so I'm presuming it has auto light switch ons fantastic little buildings very very well made love the stone effect fantastic some are more detailed than others some have more features but all are workable sheds doors that open and close I have just left the music playing in the background because there must probably be some, well, quite a few little uh, voice outages, should I say, just as I let you take in the scope of this, this mod. I have put the mod description at the beginning of this video you can um, slow that down or, or pause it and it'll give you all the details with regard to pricing etc this is just a real quick squiz around these these buildings just to show you what there is in the mod and why I think it's a mod that is worth just having a standard when you start a new game. Unless, of course, it's completely incompatible with you on an American map. Unless you want to change the, the look of the map. Fantastic. Well, I'll let you just enjoy it and then I'll butt in every now and again if I think there's something that's worth making a comment about. I think we're just about coming to the end of the sheds.
Right, that's the end of the sheds. I just nip up here to a workshop that you can put into a building. It goes into any of the buildings, I suppose, that you can fit it into. <laughs> and then we've got a small way station. Oh, don't re register any weight. <laughs> These are silos. Right, as we trot along up here, we're coming into the farm buildings. I'm just going to go through one of each. I think there's only four farm buildings um, and they both, well, it's basically two farm buildings and then repeated in a different um, color scheme, I suppose you wouldn't call it that, but a different skin. Lovely detailed farmhouse.
Right, that's the end of the farmhouses. And now we're going into the productions. Once again, there's two of each. We'll just have a quick look at each of them. Right, that's the end of the productions. This is a sale point for the sawmill. Now we'll run on down and go and have a look at the animal sheds. There's quite a few different types of cow barns. Some of them are essentially the same, but the site changes, different size meadows, um, they all take a reasonable amount of animals without being over the top. Some of them do come with auto feeders. Yeah, just a huge, huge selection. I'll let you watch that at your leisure.
have noticed that some of the sheds have two animal dialogue boxes. As you can see, one at this end, one at the other end here. Slightly unusual, but quite nice. This shed has a very large meadow associated with it, sort of an L-shaped meadow. And you'll see a little bit later this exact same barn, but with a slightly smaller meadow. And that does occur quite frequently where there's slight changes, as I have mentioned before, to a, a basic building, should I say something along those lines so a base building with slight different modifications so this one has this big meadow and a little while later we'll see another one that just has a slightly smaller meadow
Right, this is the mod that I mentioned a little bit earlier with the smaller meadow. If I can just get over the fence. <laughs> there we go. So still quite a big meadow, but not as big as the as the other one. Just by way of small clarification. Right, this is the horse box. It's the only horse um, building in the mod pack. But quite versatile. Once again, this can be fitted into other buildings. And this takes two horses. Quite useful to have if you're building a bit of other little bits and pieces. Now we're on to the pig styles. Also quite nice and big. Lots of access, lots of space to work on.
Right, now we're going to head on down to the only hen pen, <laughs> hen coop or chicken coop that we have, and it's a, a chicken coop that's designed to go inside a building, or even just like this, but it, the chickens roam all over the place. Nice, I like that one. Right, these are just decorative houses. There's, once again, um, two basics that are the same, just different colorings. Quite nice. Well, this is a section of buildings that I missed. So, got this lovely wall that can be built gates for it. It's the same one, just slightly different colouring. Wall and gates. And then another selling point. Auto vending machine. Which is very nice. Fantastic. Missed that out. When I did the original, well, when I did my little loop, let's put it that way. We also have some greenhouses or some outside veg vegetable gardens. Very nice. A huge, huge greenhouse. Fantastic mod this. You'll see this uh, greenhouse a lot on my urban farm series. And a small little open garden. Even smaller garden. And then we've got some apple trees or a small apple apple orchard. Very nice in that you get I think it's five apple trees just in the one placement. Brilliant. Well that's about the whole lot. I do hope I haven't missed too many. Well, that's where we're going to end this episode. I do hope you found this informative, and at least, or at least giving you the scope of the mod. Thank you so much for watching. If you've enjoyed it, please like and subscribe, and we'll catch you in the next one. Cheerio!